This is what is stated specifically in the Uber underage rider policy. As a driver partner, you should decline the ride request if you believe the person requesting the ride is under 18. You may request they provide a driver's license or ID card for confirmation. But is there a better way for Uber to prevent underage riders in the first place? Let's look at this hypothetical. Say you're an 18 to 22 year old female and your Uber driver asks you for ID because they think you may be a minor. This could create an awkward situation, right? What if that woman doesn't want to show ID and deems it an invasion of privacy? Now I get it, this is Uber's official policy, so the passenger should comply and show ID if they want to get a ride. But shouldn't there be a better way to handle this on Uber's end so that the determination isn't left in the driver's hands? The scooter companies require users to scan their driver's license before creating accounts, and Uber could do the same thing. So why don't they do it? Um, Uber wants to make it as easy as possible to sign up for their service as a passenger, and this creates an additional step that some passengers may not want to complete. And they could also think in their heads, well, Lyft doesn't require this ID scan, so I'll just use them instead, even though Lyft doesn't allow riders under 18 too. Uber and Lyft, for that matter, don't view underage riders as a major issue. They state in their policies that drivers are not to give rides to underage riders, but they are doing nothing proactively on their end to prevent underage riders. But if something bad were to happen, say an accident with an underage rider, the driver might have a major situation to deal with. As with many things, Uber and Lyft need to start being more proactive. They need to educate users of the age they need to be in order to ride. And they should also require users to scan an ID before creating an account. Now this won't handle all situations because users request rides for other people all the time. And if a driver does feel that a rider is underage, drivers are well within their rights to deny that, that passenger a ride. I personally have had to deny many middle school aged kids rides because their parents requested the ride for them. So if Lyft and Uber create this additional ID scan step, that will hopefully educate passengers of the age that is required to ride with Uber and Lyft. But this also bleeds into another topic that we'll be covering soon, and that is should the requester have to be the one that takes the actual ride. But what can drivers do in the meantime to handle underage riders? Um, one main thing you're going to want to do is have a dash cam. Have something that documents what happens outside and inside of your car at all times. And if you do get an underage rider request, you are absolutely well within your rights to deny that ride. And you've done the work to get to that rider and they should have known the policy. So you should also get the cancellation fee. So if, if, if they don't cancel, you can wait out the five, the five minute wait period and cancel yourself. Typically what I'll do is just say, sorry, I can't give you a ride. I'll pull away a little ways, wait for the five minute timer to run out, cancel the ride, say underage rider and collect my cancellation fee. But what do you guys think of this ID scan when creating an account idea? And should Uber and Lyft be more proactive with passengers and educate them? Do you run into the underage rider issue often and how do you handle the situation? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.